Country Shooter 98, today is part three of transforming my Glock 34, and today we're gonna be going over my favorite upgrade that I'm the most excited about, because if you've watched any of my old videos, you know that I just think it is the absolute best polymer trigger out there, and that is the Apex. This is the Apex Action Enhancement Trigger. Uh, I wanna give a big shout out, and thank you to Apex for sending this to me, let me try it out. I'm super excited about this. Um, they're just my favorite triggers. Um, for a polymer gun, they're just the best uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, <clears throat> quick rundown in part one and part two. Um, so far, I have done the Talon Grips, the Terran Tactical Magwell, the Terran Tactical Plus Three Base Pads, um, the Pure Tungsten Guide Rod, the 11 pound uh, Guide Rod Spring, and then today, like I said, uh, the best upgrade that I think you can do for any gun, especially this Glock, the Apex Trigger. Just so happy about this. Huge, huge improvement. Uh, the stock trigger, they advertise it about four and a half pounds. Um, I was getting closer to five on my trigger full scale. And it just has, it had a lot of take up and just kind of felt, just kind of gritty. Um, the reset wasn't bad. Um, I kind of rated it as average to maybe a little below average. That's just my opinion. Some people love Glocks um, and may disagree, but that was my opinion. Um, this one I've been getting, they advertise it to be at least a pound less in the pull. I've been getting around 3.1, 3.2 um, in the trigger pull. And the take up is better and the reset's phenomenal. We'll, uh, just see it here. So you got your little two stage there. And then right there's your take up and just breaks super crisp, really smooth. I mean, Apex triggers are just so smooth, and the resets is phenomenal. There it was. They're just really smooth triggers, really smooth. Um, this trigger kit for this Glock will run you around $130, um, and it's actually the easiest one I've installed. I've installed them on my FNs and uh, one of my SIG uh, P320s. The FNs are by far the hardest. This has probably been the easiest one to install. Um, this kit, the kit comes with the trigger, the trigger bar, um, and then your safety plunger as well. Um, I never changed out a safety plunger. I looked up um, on YouTube and found a really good video. Um, I, think, I believe his name's Lenny from the Glock store. He does a really good detailed uh, description of how to do it if you just listen and watch that video it's super easy you can't really mess it up so this pumped up um i think this trigger is going to make the world of difference in this gun so let's go ahead and put a couple mags through it and have some fun uh while i'm getting grabbing my mags i just want to say thank you to all of y'all who've been watching and those who have subscribed and uh, have been hitting the like button and chatting back and forth with me really appreciate the support and get some ears on and do some shooting with this slow shots here just to really get a feel for the trigger man this is phenomenal uh, the resets is great in these apex triggers I mean the pull is really smooth, but the reset is just another level as far as I'm concerned. Uh, great trigger, just a great trigger. Stretch her out a little bit here.
at 50 yards. We'll see if we get the 50 yard gong. I'm going to miss the cowboy today. cold today. All right, there you have it. That is the part three on transforming my Glock 34. And what a huge improvement. This Glock, uh, it's just a whole nother gun with this Apex trigger. Phenomenal stuff. Um, if you're ever in the market looking for a polymer trigger, trigger check out Apex. They have a lot of cool stuff. They've got, they've got, they got barrels now and uh, just quite a bit of different stuff for all different types of guns. So uh, again, big thank you to Apex for letting me try this out. Um, just love their triggers. Um, always look forward to putting one and uh, when I get polymer guns. So thank you again for watching and hopefully you'll stay tuned for part four coming up on transforming my Glock 34 and we'll see you next time.